It's not about who's right and who's wrong. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about loving your neighbor. Yeah, I wanted to talk to you specifically about a parable that Jesus told, a story that Jesus told. And you've probably heard this story before. We call it the parable of the Good Samaritan. And I wanted to talk about the Good Samaritan today and loving your neighbor because in the world that we live in, it's really, really easy to come across people who disagree with you. And it's really easy to communicate with lots of different people from lots of different backgrounds. And a lot of times that leads to arguments and fights. And people end up hating people who don't believe what they believe. And it might seem like people get in a lot more arguments these days because of the internet, but the truth is that people have disagreed forever and have sort of, you know, divided themselves into an us and them sort of thing. And there was a time in the Bible where a teacher of the law asked Jesus who his neighbor was, because Jesus had just said that he's supposed to love his neighbor. And so the teacher of the law was like, okay, well, who exactly is my neighbor? You know, because he wanted to justify his own actions, because he had been doing that thing where he was really only loving the people who agreed with him. And that can be pretty easy to do. And Jesus told a parable that went a little something like this. Jesus said there was a man who was traveling from Jerusalem to Jericho. And Jerusalem was the place where the Jews worshipped God. That's where the temple was. And so the guy was going from Jerusalem to Jericho, and he got attacked by robbers. And they beat him up, and they took his stuff, and they left him there, and he was like half dead. They beat him up real good. And sometime later, there was a priest who was walking down that same path. And when he saw the man in the road, he walked around on the other side so he wouldn't get too close to him, and he just kept going. And then later, there was a Levite who was walking down the same road, and he did pretty much the same thing that the priest did. Just ignored the guy who was beat up, walked around him, and kept on going. And maybe you've never heard of a Levite before, but actually the priest and the Levite were both Levites. If you were a Levite, you were from the tribe of Levi. And God chose the Levites, one of the 12 tribes of Israel, to be his priests, to be the ones that would take care of the temple and make sacrifices for all the Jewish people. So not all Levites were priests, but all priests were Levites, if that makes sense. Both the priest and the Levite did God's work. They worked in the temple. And Jesus didn't say exactly why they walked around the guy who was hurt and didn't help him. You know, it could have been that they felt like they were really busy, they had important things to do. And honestly, according to scripture, according to the law, if the priest or the Levite were to touch a dead body that hadn't been, you know, prepared in a special way, then they would have been unclean and they wouldn't have been able to do their job. So it could be that they walked around that guy because he looked like he was dead and they didn't want to touch him. So it could be that what they were doing was not technically wrong. But that's not where Jesus' story ends. See, there was a third man who came walking down that path, and he was a Samaritan. Now, you might have heard the term Samaritan, meaning like a nice person. But that's not what Samaritan means. We kind of get that idea from this story. But a Samaritan wasn't just any old person. No, the Jews, who were God's chosen people, hated the Samaritans. And the Samaritans hated the Jews. Because the Samaritans, well, they honestly had some pretty messed up beliefs. Like, for one thing, they believed that God wanted the temple to not be in Jerusalem, but to be on this other mountain. And that's where they worshipped God. And they kind of had their own Bible, and it was this whole big thing. And there was this big debate and really hatred between the Jews and the Samaritans. And the fact is that the Samaritans were wrong. They did not believe what was right. In fact, there was a time where Jesus was, he was talking to the Samaritan woman, and Jesus told her that the way that the Samaritans worshipped God was not the right way. He said, you guys don't even know who you are worshiping. So back to the parable that Jesus was telling. A Samaritan comes by and he sees this guy who got all beat up. And this guy was probably a Jew, right? If he's coming from Jerusalem, he was probably a Jew, not a Samaritan. But the Samaritan saw this guy and he had pity on him. He had compassion for him. And he wrapped up his wounds and he did what he could to help him feel better. And he put him on his donkey and he took him to an inn and he paid money so that he would be taken care of. And he said, on my way back, if you still need more money to take care of this guy, I'll pay for that. And after Jesus told his story, he asked that teacher of the law, he said, who was the neighbor to the man who was robbed? And the guy said, the one who had compassion on him, the one who had mercy on him. And you know what? The hero in the story that Jesus told was not one of the quote unquote good guys. The hero of the story was the person who was wrong. The person who did not believe what was right. But he did what was right. There's two main things that I think we should learn from this parable. 
One is everyone is your neighbor. When God says love your neighbor as yourself, he's talking about everyone. And I mean everyone. The Bible says that people are not our enemy. Satan is our enemy. Our battle is not against flesh and blood. If you believe what is right, there will be people who hate you for it. Those people are your neighbor. And it's very important to love your neighbor, even if they disagree with you. And the other thing that I think is important for us to learn from this story is that it is never okay to make excuses for not helping those in need. It's not your job to help everybody in need, but it is your job to help those that God puts in your path. The priest and the Levite and the Samaritan all had one thing in common. They all came across someone who was hurting and needed help. But the priest and the Levite, they went around him. They avoided him. So you might not be able to help everybody, but there is no good excuse for avoiding those people that God has put in your path. God wants us to love our neighbor. And it doesn't matter what they believe. It doesn't matter where they live. It doesn't matter what they look like. It doesn't matter if they hate your guts. If you find someone who is hurting and in pain, maybe they're scared or angry, God wants us to share his love with them. You don't have to agree with people to love them, but they are your neighbor. And God says to love your neighbor as yourself.